Right. Now we're going to start with the Ferrari stuff. You can see the signs off at five years. We can start here at the end and work our way up in years. With the 166 Barquetta. She was cute. I'm trying to get the zoom back out of it. A little close. There we go. It's a little difficult. These are all crowded around. Let's go get the animals away. Well, enjoy the shot of this. And uh, come around the backside. He said there's lots of people around all these, especially these earlier ones. Oh, thank you. And, um, some people are very curious in regards to yeah. 58. No bumper. And then we got the infamous GTO. Not sure which uh, chassis number this is. I don't have it designated on you. Not sure how well you can hear me. I got the microphone on here, but. Sorry. I'm saying I apologize a lot for getting people's way. Other people trying to shoot pictures. Come around. Get interior. Come around. On this side, we got an opening. Oh, come over here to this. This thing's gorgeous. 63. Start. Right, in the rear wheels collection. Come around. Get on the back side of this. Good interior shot. Yeah. There's no gated shifter on these. Come around. Backside. That thing is stunning. It's a special award that's already on the windshield. Okay, 275. Came from the rear wheels collection. It's coming on the back side. Not as crowded. Yeah. On this side. Interior. Look at that. Where did you see that? 65. Yeah, we got a piece of shit. Well, I got a piece of shit. 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 I got a
as you get the newer stuff, it doesn't get so crowded, so we get better shots of it. So I love these Dinos, but I just can't fit them. No, I didn't see 73, 246 GTS. Yeah. I said yesterday, these things are going up in value. <laughs> you called me a while ago. <laughs> Sid? I did. Yeah. Gentle cleaning technology. Fuck you, Larry. This is a good You guys want to hate me, just do a two foot two show and display, you know? But, uh, it's good to see the players. This is my favorite. 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 Dream Garage. It's a GTO, a 40, a 50. And the Enzo that's next. Let's see what we can do on this. Um, looks like they're judging right now on this car. Again. We're going to finish up on the Monzo. Take it on the golf cart. And there it is. This is spectacular. Look at that. Let's go on the front.
75 years of uh, Ferrari and oh my goodness the first one's already come. We've got an amazing parade here Bill with the history of Ferrari that's going to parade right in front of everyone's eyes and the first one is the very beginning of Ferrari. A Ferrari 166 uh, and then and then standing for Emilia. Absolutely. I mean a little barquetta and I know you know everything, so you know why it's called the Barquetta. Uh, it uh, refers to the style of the body, which is really a, it's a, typically called a spider if it has a removable roof, but that car does not have a removable roof, ergo it is a Barquetta. That's a 166M, M, as you heard Max said, or Millimia. It was really the first car that Ferrari offered in both road and racing car versions. Enzo Ferrari recognized you had to sell cars in order to be able to uh, pay for his racing habit, so to speak. Uh, that was uh, Brian and Kimberly Ross from Ohio. Can we slow the cars down, please? Wow. Uh, yeah, you guys so are, it, is, it is a Ferrari. It is so a Ferrari. Do Ferrari. That is true. Ferrari 250 GTO just flashed in front of your eyes. I mean, probably one of the most collectible, desirable cars, collector cars, Ferraris in the world. That's number 17 of the 36 uh, 250s bill, probably the most iconic of all Ferraris. Uh, it really uh, set the pace for Ferrari in terms of competition. It knocked everybody dead, and obviously very rare, very valuable. We're lucky to see one here with us today. Next uh, up, we've got a Ferrari 250 California Spider. This is a short wheelbase California Spider with covered headlamps. I would go as far as to say this is the most desirable road-going open car in the world, bar none, of any brand. And that's Tom and Liz Hill from Windermere, Florida that are presenting the car. Uh, this was really the darling of Hollywood, uh, of the, the glamour set, if you want to call it that. I mean, really, look at the elegant style and design of that body, as Max was saying. It perhaps is one of the most beautiful open Ferraris of all time. Next up, I can see uh, coming in uh, through the uh, crowd is uh, a Ferrari uh, 275. Is that a four pound that I can see coming in? Um, the 275 was the evolution from the uh, 250. Again, front engine, 12 cylinder Berlinetta. Berlinetta means the two door uh, coupe style uh, in, uh, uh, in, uh, in, in Italian. Um, a car that was made for the road, but also did some racing at the time. This was the first Ferrari that did not come standard, believe it or not, with wire wheels. It came standard with steel rims. Uh, this was also the first split of the engine transmission. It was a transaxle to the rear of the car with the front engine, all of the interest and weight distribution of the car. Uh, really also kind of Ferrari's answer to the Lamborghini Miura. And to the Lamborghini Miura, and that was, uh, I think, the Competizione. Uh, variant, so uh, the racing car version. Next up, uh, we've got uh, the Ferrari 365 GTB4, but not many people refer to that name. It's got a much better nickname that we all like, don't we? We all call them Daytonas, which was not uh, to Enzo Ferrari's liking. In fact, he hated it. But the car placed 123 at Daytona, and the press referred to the car and nicknamed it the Daytona. A uh, very uh, I don't know, to me, one of the most beautiful uh, Ferraris of all time. I love the lines of this car. Scalietti built the car, designed as most uh, Ferraris are by Vin and Farina. That has changed more recently, but in the early days of Ferrari, oftentimes, Vin and Farina, Vignali, uh, many, many uh, coach builders put their stamp touring, uh, put their coach, uh, their stamp on the Ferrari. You could buy a chassis and engine. I mean, Ferrari was known for engines and chassis. That's also their engine is so iconic in the Ferrari. You can go in and the Ferrari, which basically was a chassis. And then you have a coach go by so many tourings or, or Vignales, as you mentioned. Um, staying in the 70s, uh, we've got a little Ferrari, I call it little because it's actually a V6 instead of a V12, 246 uh, GTS. Uh, called the Dino. I actually shouldn't say it's a Ferrari because actually it's not a Ferrari. It's a Dino. It's a separate brand, isn't it? It was supposed to be a two-tier marketing effort for Ferrari. Uh, it was named after his son who had passed earlier of an illness. 
The car was named in his honor. This was the first production V6. You heard Max refer to it as a GTS. The S is the removable roof panel of the car, which was the final version of the car in 1972. And uh, these have really caught fire in recent years. They were oftentimes looked down upon by the world as, eh, it's kind of a budget Ferrari. No way. It's all, every bit of Ferrari. It just it happens to be the only Ferrari that does not have a Ferrari badge on. Correct. And that, that since that engine was actually initially designed by Enzo Ferrari's son. So it was really a homage to his son that unfortunately passed away. Moving on from the 70s and into uh, 18, you can see the lines of these cars getting more and more modern. And now this is the first mid-engined production car. And I can tell you, when uh, Ferrari went to the mid-engine, it did cause quite the uh, uh, the stir. They were trying to compete with the likes of Lamborghini and they introduced this, the 512 BB, Berlinetta Boxer. And the reason it's called a Berlinetta Boxer is because the pistons of the engine are opposed to one another. They look like they're fighting. And if that sounds like a really odd concept to you, go drive your Subaru because the Subaru is built the same way. It's a boxer engine. I cannot believe you just compared a Ferrari to a Subaru. <laughs> that is well, only, like, that that concept. never happened. <laughs> only a concept. Uh, you heard Max say it's a uh, BB. This is a BBI, which further means that it's an injected car. So rather than having a uh, carburation, it's actually a fuel-injected car. There were not many of these made. I have 1,007 over the model run. Cool car. Next, very Next, cool car. we have uh, the Sheep and Wolves clothing. I think I can refer to that. You saw the 250 GTO parading in front of you. Uh, well, this was the 288 GTO using that same three letters, Gran Turismo Homologazione. So these were cars made special homologation cars. And the 288 GTO is a real perfect piece. It kind of has similar uh, roots to the 308, but it has nothing to do with the 308. It's built to be homologated for racing and grouping, which actually then never happened. These were never offered for sale in the United States. There were 272 of them built over a two-year period of time, and these were kind of contrary to the rest of the world at the time. These were fast, nothing compared to a 288 GTO uh, in the marketplace. This was 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds in a mission strangled uh, America. And that's why they were never sent here. They could never get the car to meet U.S. emissions uh, uh, requirements. Now, of course, they're 25 years of age. And all of them, we can, we can bring them here. They're lucky enough. Uh, next up, uh, we've got the next the line of what we call the Ferrari supercars. Um, they are sort of a set of cars. It's so great to see them all together. This is a Ferrari F40. And of course, standing for Ferrari. And 40 was because this is the car that was launched for the 40th anniversary, the 40 years of Ferrari being in existence. And it was a heck of a race car for the road. I mean, if there is one car that yeah, I think is really the drive, every time you get into it, yeah. it's a Ferrari F40. What's actually also very cool about these cars, other than the wild look of the wing, is the fact that this was first the first Ferrari, modern day uh, Ferrari, that employed Ferrari's F1 technology and so walked the into the street. And uh, again, much talking, 40 so them do all referring the work. to the uh, 40th anniversary. This is a twin turbo. We're going to walk down because I'm running out of time. goes like hell. A lot of the lightweight componentry uh, that was used to the automobile. No. And there were uh, 1,315 of This is the 77. Yeah, well, they double the price and got more pieces. There you go. That was the Ferrari parade uh, over there from that thing. So uh, let's see what else we can get into.